so. We're expecting you. Come in. This way, please. This is our workshop. And here's the master puppeteer. He's just finished the layout for a new marionette, Gretel. He uses a soft wood that won't crack or split easily. This skillful puppeteer carves the heads, but there are other ways to make them, easier ways for beginners. The carving tools are well sharpened. As he works, the artist carefully brings the features down to proper proportions. When finished, the head will look just like Gretel's head should look. From start to finish, Every detail is planned to help carry out the characterization as the puppeteers interpret it. Gretel needs some makeup. Ordinary oil paint covers the wood. First, an overall coat and a flesh tone for a basic complexion. And then, deeper color for the cheeks. Now, Hansel, here's your little sister, Gretel. Nice work. Now she needs a body. And here are the parts. The torso should be the heaviest part of the marionette, so that even when the head and limbs move freely, they will not swing the body. A cloth hinge allows free movement at the waistline. The kind of joint depends on the action needed. At hips and knees, leather joints. The ankle joint hinged on a brad or small nail. Carved wooden shoes. Now arms for Gretel. Carved wooden hands attached to cloth upper arms. The easiest hands for beginners to make are little cloth mittens stuffed with cotton. Now, before Gretel is dressed, she gets screw eyes for her shoulders. Strings will be tied to the screw eyes. These will support the weight of the marionette. Their placement helps determine posture and nature of movement. Interlocking screw eyes will allow proper neck motion. They permit the head to turn sidewise, but prevent its swinging clear around. Time to get dressed. The puppet mistress has designed and made Gretel's clothes. She has used books on the history of costumes to guide her. A marionette's clothes are made light and loose to allow freedom of action. The designer has planned a costume to suit Hansel's little sister. Size, proportions, facial expression, and costume all help make the storybook Gretel. Gretel's wig is made right on her head by gluing theatrical crepe hair to it. Crepe hair is used for a poor little peasant child. Oh boy, is she nice. Look. Now controls for strings. The strings will go through holes bored in short strips of wood. On the marionette, screw eyes for the strings. Two on her knees, two holes on her hands, two screw eyes for the head, and one seat screw eye. The two shoulder strings support the marionette's weight. Strings long enough to reach from the level of the operator's chest 
to the marionette on the floor. Because Gretel can't move her lips, her head and hands must be able to move very freely for gesturing. Linen carpet thread or fine fishing line is used. Extra strings may be added for special needs. The basic strings are nine. Two, four, six, eight, and nine. Gretel is ready to learn what a well-trained marionette should know. Puppeteers practice with each new marionette so they can control it. Now, over here is where we rehearse. Rehearsing helps make movements rhythmical. Watch the foot control held ahead of the main control. Left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. The hand strings are at the center of the main control. Right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. Right, left, both. and the head strings. They turn the head left and right, left and right. All the movements of the marionette should harmonize with the part it plays. Of the nine strings, two are for the feet, two for the hands, two for the head, two for the shoulders. These support the marionette and one seat string used for balancing and bowing. Now, if Gretel wants to sit down, it's as easy as this to coordinate her various movements, if you know how. Rehearsing in front of a mirror helps the puppeteers perfect the movements of the marionettes. Here's our stage. The puppeteer stands on the bridge at the back. The marionettes hang from a puppet rail when they're not in use. But where's Hansel? Here I am. From the back rail hangs the scenery needed for the show. Wings cut off the view backstage from the audience. Stage properties are kept simple. Lights are important, main lights, footlights, spot, as for any theater. We're ready for dramatic action. The back rail supports the backdrop and also provides support for the puppeteers while they work. We'll see how a bit of a marionette show of Hansel and Gretel looks to the audience. Get to work, Gretel. Get to work. <laughs> Go on in with you. Oh, what a fine cake you'll make, Hansel. You'll make a splendid cake. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, what a temper. Gretel. Gretel. Oh, what shall I do? Push her in the oven. I can't. I can't. You have to. All right, I'll try. Come, Gretel, get in the oven. I don't know how. Well, I'll show you. Open, magic door. Now then, you bend over like this, and you put your head in like this. Do you see? Yes, I see. And then what do I do? Then I give you a good big push. Close, magic door. Close. Close. <laughs> Doors, magic 
magic, too. Hooray, hooray, the witch is dead, and we're going home. Hooray, hooray, the witch is dead, and we're going home.